Okay, this is exciting. I love when I get to have guests come in studio with me. I'm about to go up and meet the kids that are a part of the 100 Kids Who Care Calgary because Soft Rock 97.7 is very excited to partner with them. So let's go have a chat with them. Great. Oh, good. Yes, Christina. There she is. There she is. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> are you excited to have a tour of the radio station? Uh -huh. <laughs> I am so excited. I don't get visitors very often. And when I get visitors that are yay high, I am so excited. I have in studio with me, I have Zach and Tristan and Malia and Danielle and Michael. Three of those are little people. Two of those are big people. Can you guys say hi? Hi. How cute is that? Even just the hi is so cute. Now, you guys are from 100 Kids Who Care Calgary. And it's exciting for us as Soft Rock 97.7 has come on board to partner with 100 Kids Who Care Calgary. This is a great organization where it's kids helping kids and kids giving back. So Zach and Tristan, why don't you guys tell me, can you tell me how it works? How does 100 Kids Calgary work? Well, you'd come in and you'd put 10 or more dollars into a jar. And then there'd be people would nominate charities. Mm -hmm. And we would have a big jar full of all the people of their names and their charity, and then we pick three, and then we have these little ballots that it has numbers one, two, and three on it. Kids are nominating charities, and then the kids tell us all about the charities, and yeah. then you get to vote on which is your favorite charity. Mm -hmm. And then all the money that everybody donated goes to the winning charity. That's amazing. Can you tell me? Uh, maybe Zach, maybe Tristan, who has won in the past? What kind of charities have you guys sent money to? Well, in the last few days, we've sent uh, um, some money to the Calgary Flames Foundation. That's right. And me and my brother mo both nominated for a charity. My brother nominated for um, the Ronald McDonald House, and he won in that in that meeting and then I got pulled up and I chose brown baking for Calgary's kids and we both won. And so there's they're... also the Humane Society. That's right. So these are pretty important charities. Why is it important for you guys to do this and to give back? Well, because we want to help like kids or adults to have like a better life or who need like medicine and cures for stuff. And does this money come out of your own pocket? Yeah. Yes. So you have $10, burn the hole in your pocket instead of buying candy or fidget spinners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you make a donation to a charity. Mm -hmm. That's great. Well, mom kind of got you on board with this. So let's introduce you to Danielle. And uh, I know that Danielle was also a part of 100 Women Who Care Calgary, great organization. So what made you say, we need to do this for kids? How did this come about? Um, so basically I went to my first 100 women meeting and they talked a bit about um, the chapter, the organization as a whole and how there was 100 women groups, 100 men groups, and even a couple 100 kids groups. Um, so as soon as she mentioned that, I needed to meet with her afterwards and said, is there 100 kids in Calgary? And she said, no. And I said, then we need to start it. And she goes, you go right ahead. I'll help you <laughs> as much as I can. But she goes, I think it would be fabulous. I just don't have the time to do it. Right. It takes and up a lot of your time as well. It totally does. But it's been so worth it. It's so rewarding on, on all aspects. We did it to teach these kids and give them a bit more hands-on experience with the giving process so that it wasn't just cutting a check. Right. Um, and them not understanding what the impact of that is. So we've done that. Um, we do it to inspire the next generation to give, but I totally get just as much inspiration out of it at every event. Right. Now, I know this is exciting for us at Soft Rock 97.7 to come on board, and we are going to partner with you guys, and we're going to help you get the word out. The last one was the kicker for me, and it was the Happy Birthday Project. And I went to a meeting, I've got two boys of my own, and I you know, uh, love that the idea of the charity that won was the Happy Birthday Project, and I couldn't fathom the idea that there's kids out there that couldn't have birthdays. So I was talking about it on air, hoping to promote it and to get people out there, and I started bawling. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I started bawling. But I love that it's all about the kids teaching them how to be the next generation to give. 
Exactly, and and they get so much else out of it. Um, there's the democratic process because the kids are actually doing the voting. So right. we say to them, parents can tell them what charities are what number, but it's their choice. And I think they feel super empowered by that. Right. That they they are the ones you know talking about these charities. They get to vote on it, and then they watch what the impact is with their group donation. Is there an age limit? For so kids? we do right now ages 5 to 17. Once you turn 18, you can join 100 women or 100 men. Then it, it, it antes up to 100 bucks. <laughs> exactly. It antes up. So you got to be prepared to give 100 From bucks. From 10 bucks to 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. And if people want more information, uh, what's the website? So the website is 100kidscalgary.com. And you can just click on there and um, there's a join button. You just punch your information in. Then you'll get the emails from us. And we do four events a year. The next one's coming up on September 23rd. It's a Saturday, which is a little unusual for us, but it's exciting because it's going to be at Kyle Schufelt Gymnastics. So excited about this partnership. Um, got to speak with Kyle Schufelt, and he's thrilled to come on board and provide the venue for the next event. And we actually luck out, and Kyle's going to do a little show and tell to begin with and wow. talk about his Olympic experience bring his gold medal. I was going to say, he's going to bring his hardware. Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. Again, thank you for uh, allowing Soft Rock 97.7 to be a part of this. This is exciting for us, and we're looking forward to all of the events. I'm looking forward to being there with my boys as well, even though I've kind of been there since the beginning. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is a fantastic partnership. Can't wait to um, spread the word and spread the service around. Thank you. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so cute.